four shining experiments on the incandescent electric type system. Many memorandums were drawn up as to a general system that would permit of the subdivision of the light into small units analogous to gas jets and with commercial economy superior to the pervading gas system. One of the most revolutionary developments in human history, the light bulb permanently changed the way we work, live, and interact with the world around us. The brilliant mind of Thomas Alva Edison, whose unwavering pursuit of innovation lit the route to development, was at the vanguard of this revolutionary advancement. Edison was born in Milan, Ohio, in 1847. His ambition to conquer darkness and harness the force of electricity was driven by his unquenchable curiosity and pioneering spirit. This is the fascinating account of how Thomas Edison created the light bulb, dramatically revealed it to the world, and effectively lit up cities at the request of the federal government. Edison's childhood obsession with electricity was sparked by his experiences working as a telegraph operator and his insatiable curiosity. Inspired by the bold vision of creating an electric light bulb that could be sold on the open market, he established the Edison Electric Light Company in 1878. With the support of a committed group of technicians and engineers, Edison set out on a difficult path filled with exploration and creativity. The development of the light bulb faced many obstacles and disappointments. Edison and his colleagues tested numerous filament materials in thousands of trials, persevering through numerous setbacks along the way. Despite every obstacle, Edison's perseverance simply became stronger, as seen by his well-known remarks that reverberated through his laboratory's hallways, I have not failed. I've discovered 10,000 ineffective methods. After years of unrelenting work, Edison made a breakthrough that would alter the course of history in 1879. He succeeded in creating a light bulb that could burn for more than 13 hours using a carbonized bamboo filament, ushering in a new era of illumination. The world was in awe of this revolutionary discovery, and Edison's name came to represent advancement and creativity. But Edison's vision extended far beyond the mere invention of the light bulb, he sought to showcase the transformative power of electric lighting to the masses. In a bold and dramatic move, he orchestrated a series of public demonstrations to expose his invention to the world. At his Menlo Park, New Jersey laboratory, Edison put on his most spectacular presentation to date in December 1879. He gathered the public and media to see the unveiling of his groundbreaking invention with much fanfare and excitement. The warm glow of electric light illuminated the faces of those assembled in the laboratory as darkness descended, filling them with surprise and amazement. Applause broke out from the throng, and word of Edison's victory quickly traveled across the globe, capturing people's attention. The object of this invention is to devise an electric lamp, which shall admit of being worked in great numbers on one electrical circuit. The invention of the phonograph had been all Edison. But when he turned his luminous curiosity on the problem of making an electric light, he was moving into a field where many others were working. The first thing Edison did was to learn everything he could about the subject. He came to the crux of the problem. One, if you heat certain materials by electricity, they give off light. Two, if you heat these materials in a vacuum, they last much longer. So he told his glass blowers in the invention factory to make him some glass bulbs. This would be his vacuum, in which he would heat something by electricity. Heat what? What would glow with a light that was continuous and bright and easy on the eyes? Now the laboratory became his home. Day, night, time itself meant nothing to him. He tried everything in the search for the proper thing to heat in the vacuum. After trying metals, he started on the world of organic matter. Anything, everything within reach, human hair, wood, leather, macaroni. Now we know another thing that won't work. That's progress. Finally, one day he took a piece of common cotton thread and placed it in a crucible and baked it in a furnace. Out of the furnace came a thin thread of pure carbon. He attached this filament to electric wires inside the bulb. 
he pumped the air out of the bulb. He turned on the electric current. This was the light he wanted, but how long would it last? Edison and his assistants gathered around for the famous death watch of October 19, 1879. They watched the lamp for 10 hours. Give it more juice. 20 hours. More juice. 30. For two days and two nights, the lamp burned. Now I knew we had it. He invited the world a world still lit by candles and gaslight, to come to Menlo Park to see. They came. On New Year's Eve, 1879, they came by the train load and they saw. New light to the new world on this New Year's Eve, cried the press. The newspapers called it the miracle of the 19th century. The success of his public demonstrations gave Edison the confidence to take on a brave new task. His chance arrived in 1882 when the New York City government came to him with a daring idea, installing electric lights on the streets of Lower Manhattan, excitement to present the possibilities of electric illumination in a large-scale manner characterized Edison's acceptance of the task. He and his staff put in endless hours to oversee the installation of street lights, wiring, and power generators across the city. The birth of a new age was marked on September 4, 1882, when Lower Manhattan Street saw the warm glow of electric light for the first time in history. Many applauded and showed enthusiasm for the event, which attracted large audiences who were amazed by the transformational power of electric illumination. The world's cities began to widely adopt electric lighting as a result of Edison's achievement in illuminating New York City permanently changing the urban environment and rewriting the history of humanity. Lighting up Menlo Park was only a stunt for New Year's Eve. The real test came when Edison announced that he would illuminate one square mile of the heart of New York City with a newfangled electric light. The bulb, the miracle bulb that gave the miraculous light, was only the beginning, the end component of a thousand component parts. You need rheostats and generators and meters and fuses and sockets and switches and conductors to make it work. To lay his lines and cables, he had to dig down into the bowels of the city. Edison himself supervised every move day and night. In later years, he was to say, This was the greatest adventure of my life. To make light, you need power. He took a building on Pearl Street in Lower Manhattan and turned it into the first power plant for electric light in the United States. It started with coal furnaces in the basement. The coal made steam. The steam made power. The power turned the generators. From the generators came electricity. And the electricity became light. Light to the world. Few achievements in human history are as well known as Thomas Edison's creation of the light bulb and his innovative efforts to light up cities. Edison ushered in a new era of illumination and progress by eradicating darkness from the earth via his unyielding determination and relentless pursuit of innovation. Every flicker of light that comes from a bulb carries his legacy with it, illuminating the way forward and pointing humanity in the direction of a better future. Edison's tale is a compelling reminder of the human spirit's limitless potential and the transformational power of human inventiveness. Thank you very much for watching. I'd humbly request you to subscribe the channel so that I can bring more presentations to you.